Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again for a deep dive into the fiscal quagmires of the Overwatch League to see how you can generate more tendies than a KFC in crunch time. Today, we're going to be looking at a stock that some would say is more impacted by emotional trading than any other in the league, the Dallas Fuel. The community have taken to codifying the Dallas Fuel cycle of misery, and with good reasons. After three seasons, this team has seemed to still be running in place despite multiple attempts at upgrades. But with the roster blown up like a TikTok featuring a cat singing a sea shanty, now could be the perfect time to invest while hope and fear battle to determine the value of fuel. First up, the lay of the land. Fuel is up because of roster acquisition hype, but we can look across the board of our stocks and prices are rising in preseason because of solid pickups. Sorry, Valiant. All over the league. Fuel is, however, being suppressed by fear about their performance from a lackluster showing in the NEXT cut back in January and also pessimistic fans who have been burned by this stock quite a few times. The main difference this season, though, compared to every other Dallas roster shakeup is that they've now replaced the captain of a ship instead of the planks of wood from which it's made. We've moved on from Theseus' ship and now we're aboard the SS Rush, flagship of the Element Mystic fleet. Let's be real as well, you can totally ignore the name Fuel. They may be on the ticker, but it's essentially Element Mystic here, having torn off a Fuel's face and is wearing it as some kind of macabre mask to enter the Overwatch League as its own entity. So the question you're asking at this moment should be, do I invest my hard-earned scrimbucks and tendies into a team that's burned so many before? Given what early Korean contenders have shown us, Winston could be in vogue early next season, and any amongst you who know me know that I am a huge fan of a fearless Winston. This guy has progressed beyond Silverback Gorilla and is now the golden goose of this team, if they can coalesce well around him. But the question marks for the double bubble approach are on the quality of Hanbin Zaya. Given that in previous Zaya heavy metas like GOAT, former teammates were more likely to take up the hero and leave Hanbin on a high tier D.Va or Sigma. And whether or not Fuel will have a trace of firepower to generate a formidable dive are reasons why you may figure that the double bubble won't work out so well for this team. I would speculate that Sparkle's Tracer is good enough for this, but he might easily be checked by the league's more advanced Tracer duelists like Striker or Kevster who are both still in that North American region. However, you read the title of this video and you're thinking, Leg Day! Stop fanboying Element Mystic and tell me about my short selling options. I've got 10 leaves to make and kids to feed. Fine, I get you. I also know you're a bit of a dummy, so let me explain short selling like a weary teacher trying to teach an author GCSE mathematics. Basically, you borrow shares and then sell them on the open market because you believe that the price will drop, so you sell them at the current price. You then wait a determined amount of time before having to give those shares back, and if you can buy them at a lower current market price from where you sold them, you pocket the difference and make money on the short sell. However, there's also the risk that maybe those shares will be more expensive now and you'll have to buy them at that more expensive price and then you'll be losing money on the trade. So the bet you're making is whether Dallas Fuel are going to shit the bed either in performance or in public confidence in the first few weeks of their season. You're betting on whether this is a meta Dallas will thrive in, whether they'll upset Houston Outlaws in their first match, and how the public traders will react to their match against Gladiators who are trading very high right now after huge acquisitions like Moth. It's your scrim bucks and it's your decision. But remember, my beautiful investment monkeys, if you want the best tips the second that they come out, subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you don't miss a single video from the Owl Stock Exchange. And also remember, above all, this video is not financial advice.